Joe, thank you. Well, Governor Kathy Hochul is considering new chief judge candidates for New York State Court of Appeals. And today, our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein spoke to lawmakers about what happens next. Following Governor Hochul's first chief judge nomination, Hector LaSalle, who was rejected by the Senate in December, the New York State Commission of Judicial Nomination releases a new list of nominees. Governor Hochul must choose from the list of seven nominees no sooner than April 8th and no later than April 23rd. The rejection of former nominee Hector LaSalle was met with strong opposition from lawmakers across the aisle when the nomination did not immediately go to the Senate floor for a vote after LaSalle's confirmation committee hearing. The opposition resulted in a lawsuit filed by Senator Anthony Palumbo forcing a full floor Senate vote. Some lawmakers say a new nominee should be voted on by the full Senate on the floor. I think it's very clear that it has to go to the floor, so our expectation is that it absolutely will go to the floor or will do what we have to do again to ensure that it does. While some other lawmakers say it's too soon to determine a floor vote. It trust the process, just as we did last time. We will have full and thorough hearings and the candidates, um, whoever selected, will be vetted thoroughly by the Senate. A New York State attorney says the new list of nominees is a good list of candidates. And I think all of the candidates on this short list have both of those essential qualities, uh, not only judicial and lawyerly chops, but also the chops to be a great leader. Following Hogel's nominee choice, the state Senate has 30 days to confirm or reject the appointment. In Albany, Elise Klein, WENY News.